I'm from Nigeria. Um, I would like to correct an impression. To everybody sitting down here, I am a Christian. And the impression is this. Jesus is not God. It is not written anywhere in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation that Jesus is God. Jesus is the spirit of God in a human being form. Psychologically, we human beings does not believe in what we don't see. Because we need a proving something that, uh, uh, something to prove, an evidence that truly God really exists. Although there were many prophets that come before Jesus that relate the message of God, they talked about God, all the way from Moses, uh, Joshua, Isaiah, like that. They talk about God before Jesus came. And what I want to correct is this. Jesus is not God. Now, I want to make a further point like this. In the book of Bible, we have... Can you on the microphone? Brother, Yes. this is a question answer time, not a speech time. If you want to give a speech, you're most welcome to hire the hall. Take the permission from the authority and give a lecture. The question is this. Yes. The question should be in one or two sentences. All the people came and asked, you want to give a speech? I know you are a missionary. No problem. Now this, the question. this is the question answer time, not a speech time. Okay. So if you have a question, please pose your question in two or three sentences, brother. Yes, brother. Can we have your question? The question is this. The way Christians worship God through Jesus, because if we want to pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. Is it wrong in the teaching of Islam? Whether a simple question, simple answer. You are running around the bush that Jesus is spirit of God in himself. We are not here to come to follow you. You point out, give references from the Bible. What you are talking is from your own mind. Everyone has a mind of his own. What I am speaking, I am giving references. Chapter number, verse number, chapter number, verse number. Everyone comes and says what he feels, it will not make any sense. What you are speaking is your thinking. We are not going to follow you, correct? What do you want to say? Quote the Bible or the Quran? Now your question is very good. You said that if you worship God through Jesus, is it correct according to the Quran or according to the, according to the Quran? If you worship God, Following the teachings of Jesus, no problem. But if you worship through him, if you worship taking his name, Oh Jesus, please forgive my sin, it is shirk. In Islam, as well as in Christianity. You follow his teaching, no problem. Follow teaching the Prophet Muhammad, no problem. But if you say that, Oh Jesus, please forgive my sin. Even if you say, Oh Prophet Muhammad, please forgive my sin, even that is shirk. Even that is prohibited. You can only worship Almighty God directly. You can follow the teachings of the messengers who taught us how to pray to God. But you cannot pray to the messenger. Is it clear? So if you pray to Jesus, peace be upon him, or to any other person, any messenger, you have to pray to Almighty God directly. In Islam, we pray directly. We don't require to pray to someone else or through someone else. We have to pray to Almighty God directly. If you pray to someone or through someone, it is prohibited in Islam. And even prohibited in Christianity. I'm okay with this. Okay. What is the true way to pray, to pray to God? What is the true way to pray to God? I've given the talk on Salad programming towards righteousness. If you read the, the Gospel, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 39, it says that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he went in the garden of Gethsemane. He took a few steps and fell on his face and prayed to God. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he prayed, he fell on his face and prayed to God. In Islam, in the Salah, the most important is the sujood. Sajda is mentioned in the Quran 92 times. That is prostration. The One of the best part of Salah is prostration. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, prostrated and prayed. If you read the Bible, if you read the Abraham, peace be upon him, he fell on his face and prayed to God. Moses and Aaron, peace be upon them, they fell on their face and prayed to God. Joshua, in, in the book of Joshua, chapter 5, verse 14, he fell on his face and prayed to God. All the messengers of God, when they prayed, they fell upon their face and prayed to God. I can give you a scientific answer why this is good. 
But according to the Bible and according to the Quran, you have to do sujood, sajda, one of the part. The details are given in the Quran and the hadith. That this qiyam, you stand up, you bow down, then you prostrate, then you get up. So this is the way of the prayer of all the prophets. The main heart of salah is the sajda, is the prostration. And that's how all the messengers prayed, including Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. Hope that answers the question. Very well. So inshallah, in future, you will not worship Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And when you pray, you will prostrate and pray to God. Correct. Correct, brother? Yes, thank you. Inshallah. So do you believe Jesus is God? I hope you do not believe Jesus is God. No. Very good. Inshallah. Thank you. So you believe he is the messenger of God? Of course I do. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I believe. You believe? MashaAllah. So, brother, there are two things if you believe that there is one God. And if you believe Jesus is the messenger of God. And if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, then according to me, you are a Muslim. MashaAllah. time. <laughs> if you believe that Jesus is not God, if you believe he's only messenger of God, so to become a Muslim brother, there are two minimum things required. To believe there is one God? Yes, there is only one God. To believe Jesus is not God? Jesus is not God. To believe he is messenger? He is a messenger. And to believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger? Of course he is. So that means you are a Muslim according to me. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Yes. Is there anyone forcing you to become a Muslim? Nobody is forcing me. Is there anyone putting pressure on you? No. So inshallah say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Allah, 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 Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa Allah, Illa Allah, Washadu, Washadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abduhu, or Rasuluhu. I bear witness, I bear witness that, that there is no God, there is no God, but Allah, but Allah, and I bear witness, and I bear witness that, that Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of Allah. And the servant of Allah. Mashallah, we go Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he guide you more and may he grant you jannah may he forgive all your past sin and through you may he get other people to the fold of islam thank you and i request that whenever a person becomes a muslim it is the duty of us muslim to take care of him we have to welcome him you have to take care of him if he requires information give him whatever problem he has whether it be social problem whether it be knowledge whether it be support and I request as a policy, it is preferable that one Muslim should adopt another non-Muslim so that he feels more comfortable when he goes for Salah, so that he's more comfortable and inshallah you will get the ajar for it. Surely be in touch with the local organization, brother, and so that you get more information and maybe you can practice Islam better. Jazakallah, brother. Takbir.